Building a factory is great, but what sets satisfactory apart is the aesthetics of the game and being able to build how you want to. One thing that is often overlooked is flooring and there's nothing wrong with it, but with these tips you'll be able to add some extra spice to your factory. So first off, we have several different materials available to us. These can be unlocked in the materials section of the awesome shop. Here we have the normal foundations, steel grip foundations, concrete foundations, asphalt foundations, and finally coated concrete foundations. Notice how the coated concrete foundation looks like a nice clean floor. This can be accentuated with lights. However, this isn't the same for everybody. So if you are wanting your coated foundations looking like this, then you want to note that you'll need your graphic settings turned up. Uh, I use Ultra for everything. And the other thing is if you're using Vulkan or DirectX 11, you may need to use DirectX 12. I hope that helps. My second tip is creating patterns in your flooring using clipping. Here I use the down corner foundation as one type of material, then use another down corner to create a diagonal using a different material and it looks like this. Thirdly, you can keep your factories clear by running the logistic lines under the floor. You can use glass foundations to allow you to see these, which makes it particularly lively, and I love using them with the half pipe foundation. Now, before we move on, if you are finding these tips helpful, do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel, and we're trying to do shorter videos now in order for you to get as much in a small time as possible. I hope you find this useful. Our next tip, if you're taking items down a floor and don't want to use the floor holes, consider using walkways to create a barrier. You can also use these walkways as a snapping point for foundations so that you can clip and merge foundations and make that hole smaller. When building on multiple levels, you can add detail to any showing edge using beams. Another option which I love is using the barrier as it gives the floor a mind your head style warning and is a nice little trim across it. You can also use walls as well should you wish to. You can also use these along with the barriers and beams to give your flooring more detail. This can be great for creating train lines or highways, but it's also a nice way to separate factories from walking spaces and these can be used to hide wires if you don't like them on show. You can also add fencing to this as well. Our penultimate tip which I don't see a lot is using vinyls to add extra detail to your factories and note that you can actually change the color of these vinyls using the materializer. Now finally when it does come to curves merging different materials can look quite messy so what I recommend using is the 0.4 meter foundation frame on top of the curve, then replacing it with a different material foundation. This gives your, your curve this or building a little lip all around the outside and looks quite nice and it does stop the Z fighting as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know your favorite tip below and if you're interested in creating curves, why not check my quick guide on that. Special thanks does go to our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin and Jerry Two, as well as our Lunars, Dixie Chris, Lord of July, and Ben, as well as our Blood Moon, Papa Snoozy. Anyway, guys, until next time, ciao for now.